I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. So where are you located right now? I'm in Washington, D.C. Oh, okay. I hope everything is all right in Washington, D.C. Beautiful day. Oh, perfect. Okay. Can you tell us something about your company and how long have you been using Zoho? Sure. So um, the COO of Quick Flip Apparel, we make a line of apparel that converts into a backpack. So um, I'm sure most people can relate to the experience. If you go out uh, in the morning, it's a little chilly. You wear a sweatshirt. But once you get moving, the sun comes out, gets a little warmer. You don't know what to do with your, your sweatshirt or even your jacket. You end up taking it off, tying it around your waist, carrying it in your arm, maybe throwing it over your shoulder. But yeah, it's not a great way to carry it either. You know, doesn't look great if you're tying it around your waist. Then it's not really functional if it's thrown over your shoulder. So we have a, a patent design that basically the back wall of garment um, has a hidden backpack. You flip your hoodie inside out, and now you have a backpack, drawstring backpack you can throw on your back, and it's got space. You can throw your wallet, keys, cell phone, water. Um, if you got an extra pair of shoes, you go going to play soccer, you throw your cleats in there. Um, so it's a really functional design. And we launched a little over three years ago, about three and a half now. Um, and saw tremendous success off the bat. We initially launched, we were uh, primarily a direct to consumer apparel company at a retail storefront on Shopify and sold through our inventory within a month, got more inventory and sold in about three months. We doubled up the order and quickly got uh, the attention of, a whole bunch of different people, including Shark Tank. Um, so within our first year in business, we got invited to shoot a Shark Tank episode, shot that. It aired close to a year later. So um, it wasn't until May 2019 that that aired, and the company really blew up after that. Wow. Uh, right prior to Shark Tank, uh, we started to get interest from people um, to have branded apparel. And so people wanted to put their logo on the left chest, just like that Zoho shirt you're wearing right now. We can make Zoho quick flip apparel where it would say Zoho on your hoodie. But unlike your shirt, if you were to take that off, let's say a sweatshirt tied around your waist, now someone's sitting on Zoho's logo. It's tied around their waist. They sit down sitting on it. It's resting against your butt. So with our product, you would convert it into a backpack and we would put Zoho on the backpack. So you get twice the functionality, twice the branding. So that shift in our business model and expanding into that more promotional product space uh, brought about the need to have some additional tools within the company. And one of the main one was having a CRM system. So right away, I had known about Zoho and I said, let's bring this in. Uh, my prior roles in companies, um, I had a systems development role, I was in operational risk, and I had a lot of um, leeway to recommend solutions to different businesses, but I was not the decision maker who got to say, let's do it. So I had recommended Zoho in the past, but never was the one saying, yeah, let's do it. So finally, uh, now that I'm uh, the decision maker in this company, I said, all right, I love Zoho. I love what they're doing. Let's do it. And we implemented Zoho CRM and um, basically went all in with Zoho. We switched out of Microsoft Exchange, moved our email over, set all the basic tools up for the whole office suite. Um, when WorkDrive came out, loved that. So as soon as that launched, we rolled that out to the company. And really now we're just slowly adding more and more Zoho One solutions into our business and looking for more and more opportunities to do it. That's great to hear. So your entire great. business is being run on Zoho's platforms, is it? Sorry? So your entire business is being run on Zoho's platforms, is it? Uh, nearly everything. We still are using Shopify for our e-commerce shopping cart. Um, but, you know, Shopify's reporting is very limited. So we do all our reporting off our retail sales as well as our wholesale sales out of Zoho Analytics. So um, while it hasn't replaced the storefront, uh, either, either from a cart perspective or from a site perspective, uh, it still plays a vital role in that part of business. Um, but yeah, it's really integrated Zoho One all over, you know, whether it be from our HR management system, leveraging Zoho People, uh, from our analytics platform, using Zoho Analytics. We really look for every opportunity to implement Zoho and, and, and use it 
and, and get the full value out of what you offer with Silver One. Got it. Perfect. So coming back to quick uh, uh, apparels, so the company, uh, it's it's a very unique idea, right? So how did it come about? Yeah, so, uh, so the idea came about where our owner was walking in the park with his son in the morning, and our company is located in Torrance, California, in southern L.A. And, you know, we're, our weather, it's perfect, it's beautiful, couldn't, couldn't have a better place. Right. But it's cold in the mornings, and then it heats up in the afternoon. So you end up going outside, you're rocking a hoodie, but you're running around with your son, you get hot. So he was with his son at the park, running around chasing him, and he got hot, and he took off his favorite sweatshirt and um, didn't have anything to do with it. And he's a young guy, so he was about to tie it around his waist, and he's like, no, i got to be the cool dad. He had a little son, wanted to make sure he showed his son how to be cool. Threw it over his shoulder, like we've all done, and went about playing in the park with his son. But at some point, he went down to pick up his son, and it fell in the wet grass, and the hoodie got wet. And he's a third-generation jiu-jitsu master. His name's Henry Gracie of wow. Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, his, his grandfather um, was one of the co-founders and inventors of jiu-jitsu. Right. His father is the one who started UFC. So his mind is always working for solutions. And so he took that uh, solution mindset that he's always been applying toward jiu-jitsu and applied it toward apparel. Went back to his office, wow. 30 minutes later, had his first prototype. Eight months later, we had it in, in production, and we launched about 12 months after uh, the idea came about. It was November of 2017, and the idea was December of 2016. So it was just under a year we were already open and in, in business and selling. Oh, Jordan, that's a great story. Not every day do you get to hear a story where somebody practices something and then get on to implement it on a business and make it so successful in a short period of time. Now oh, that's a unique story right there itself. Right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, um, I think the, the, the what, one thing that we try to incorporate in the DNA of our company is that mindset of problem solving. And it's something that's captured in a sport like jiu-jitsu where you're constantly training with different partners and being put into new positions and the whole goal is finding your way to improve your position and and survive you know in that training environment and so it's a mindset of rapid iteration of what can i do testing new ideas seeing what doesn't work and what does and whether you're applying that you know in the realm of jiu-jitsu or in business it's a mindset that is really key to success and so we've taken that approach and so we're constantly looking at how can we do things better? You know, constantly testing new ideas and, and looking for solutions for getting the most out of our people, um, getting the most out of our business and doing the best for our customers, offering them the best best solution at the best, best price point. Okay. And uh, being the CEO of the company, would you tell us some of the challenges that you face in the current scenario? You know, during the pandemic, there would have been a lot of um, things that have been changed, right? So what did your company do to adapt to the current situation? Yeah, so um, the pandemic has been um, quite a challenge. I mean, you can imagine just like everyone else going through it, um, there is the obvious workplace issue where you right. can't have people working too close together. And um, in some cases, companies said, Everyone worked from home. And while we were able to do that for large parts of our business, because we run a warehouse to fill orders, people can't work from home. We're sending out you know, hundreds of hoodies every day. Someone needs to be in a warehouse with all our inventory. And so we went through a whole effort to reorganize the warehouse layout and make sure that everyone had the appropriate amount of space. We put in place the, you know, the best practices that were recommended from the CT CDC and you know, making sure people were wearing masks, making sure people are getting tested. So there was a lot of that that we did. And then in terms of the folks who did work at home, we had the obvious challenge of how do you keep communication going when people aren't looking at each other, they're not able to holler across the room and say, hey, I need this. And, you know, Zoho came in and was great. You know, we 
while Zoho Workplace didn't launch until a few weeks into the pandemic, a lot of those solutions were already present. And so, you know, leveraging Zoho Click and really making that part of the day-to-day place where people live and using the remote work functionality in Zoho Click to let people know, hey, I'm present at work and yes, I'm available, or no, I'm heads down. Um, so training people on how to, how to use the tools to best recreate that environment, you know, recreating that environment of being in, in the same building while not. Um, I would say the, the challenge that persists is there's nothing like being in the same room as people. Um, and while we use Zoho meeting all the time so that we can see each other, um, you know, there, there's an energy from being together. There's an energy that you get of being in the same room. So, you know, while we've able to, we've been able to make it through this time period, leveraging the tools that are out there and leveraging the tools that Zoho provides, I'm, I'm eager to get everyone back into the same building and getting people working together again and in person and especially uh, a lot of the employees do jujitsu in addition to working for quick flip. So, you know, we all can't wait to roll, roll around with each other again and, you know, train again in person. So there's yeah. that angle of it that uh, the pandemic definitely throws a wrench into that business. Well, well, you said it the best way you can, like being around people creates the most positive energy around. And you're absolutely right about that. Well, thank you so much yeah. for the, uh, session today, Jordan. It was a wonderful. Uh, it was wonderful talking with you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. You do the same. Thank you so much.